Okay. Another tool is create shape. As you can see, turn off because as I said before, we have to draw a, a simple vector line and it's create a uh, shape from that. <clears throat> when you create a vector line as I said before, you can uh, auto fill and turn on auto stroke. And uh, as you can see, you can, um, oh, sorry. The drawing method for it is strange. You have to click and drag and then come back to the beginning and uh, then continue, click and drag, continue to click and drag to create a <clears throat> simple object. Click and drag again, come back, click and drag, come back to the end and to create an object. And as you can see, automatically create an object from this. But if you have a simple line, and um, before drawing something, I want to turn off the auto stroke and auto fill off. And for example, we just create a simple, uh, simple line. This is the end of that. This is end of that. And this is end of that. And as you can see, this is a simple line without any stroke and fill. And you cannot, after that, turning on and it does not work because you, you're, you, you're doing everything. So, uh, and as you can see, this tool will return on, create shape. You can simply uh, select the shape and go to the line and just click. And as you can see, based on your stroke, you can change it here. Based on a stroke and the fill color, it's create a shape for you and enter. Nice. Or you can simply create a shape or a stroke from a open. <clears throat> line just select line and enter as you can see it created a stroke just based on just because it's a open uh enter open line for closed line it's create a field for uh, open line create a stroke for you this is create shape simple hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release